Hi, good day, guys. It's Nicholas from Photo Couleur, and welcome to our final chapter in our watercoloring tutorial for Alicia and Gabby. And um, we're going to finish them off today, and um, hopefully finish them off today. And um, then, yeah, then you guys would have some kind of idea of how to do watercoloring um, or how to practice watercoloring into your own coloring um, let's get started all right what we've done so far is we've done the background of uh, Gabby and Alicia and um, we've done the dress in the hair and things like that but as the paint dries it kind of like fades as well because we're not making use of the best quality paint we're making use of these budget cup um, trays of cakes and um, they intend to fade over time the more the better quality paint you get um, like the koi watercolors um, like these trays over here um, they last a bit longer and um, or they last longer and um, yeah it depends on how much money you would want to spend um, for practicing those little budget cup um, trays are perfectly fine to practice with and um, but if you're going to the more advanced stage you can always go to one of these more refined sets which will bring out more brighter colors and they will last a lot longer. I paint with these. I prefer to paint with these. All right. Um, let's get started. What shall we do? Let's take Alicia first. All right. We started with the sun shining in the like on a pink on a dress at the back. So what I'm going to do is. What it, and what I've not shown you guys yet is to take pencil, aquarelle pencils, and work with them. Now, some of you don't have these trays at home, but if you can get hold of one of them, and I know you can order them online, it's one of the best things you'll ever get. It's it's a brand Karen Dash makes them. Sorry guys. You know. Is it called a little palette tray? Now what you do is you basically take your pencils your aquarelle pencils now you can choose your color beforehand just make sure your pencils are nice and sharp now with aquarelle pencils you can sharpen them in two ways I do sharpen mine with a special sharpener and um, and but not everybody can have them so what you do is you take your sharpener and you just and you will actually use every bit of your aquarelle pencils. I'm at the moment I'm using the Karen Dash Museum aquarelles, and they are very high quality, um, um, high quality, um, one of the best aquarelle pencils that you can get, if not the best. And um, in my opinion, and they are great, highly pigmented. So you can sharpen your pencil but actually making use of the whole pencil. So that little bit that I've put onto my tray there and then you take your mister, give it a mist, aqua brush, And look at the amount of color that's been released just from there now that color will go a long way in a far way now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this color into her dress again but a bit more refined 
carefully on the lines. Mind the little flower cheese. I will tell you the color that I've used there. It's like almost like a salmon color, which will blend beautifully with the pink that I've already got on there. And some of the yellow in the background. Blending those colors nicely into each other. Remember last time we didn't have much time and we don't have a lot of time today as well because we would like to finish off both pictures and I don't want to make the video tutorials too long and I hope you guys are following. If you do have any queries you must please post your queries at the end of the each video tutorial and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, as you can see, that little bit of color has taken me quite a far. And this color will last. That's why they're called museum apparels. Just be careful that you don't get your page too wet. Making sure you've got one of your kitchen towel paper and just dab it dry. And as you can see, not a lot of ink has come off. That's why it's important to make use of a better quality paper because you're going to layer things right the other use of this fabulous little tray from karen dash is you can actually take your pencils and you can actually scratch your and it won't damage your pencil and it will, and there's all your color that you need, a mist, and that should be more than enough to do the mind of the dress, and actually another layer. Remember, we've got an umbrella to do as well. She's color coordinated. Right, so you just want to do the remainder of the dress, give it another nice layer. Taking the color directly from your palette, 
tray from the pencil and applying it with your aqua brush or your water brush onto your picture. Okay, now you guys can see there's a much more deeper pink and a flow, a bit of flow in the picture in the dress. Still keeping her ribbon in the back, that bright orange or yellow. Let's just do the same thing. It's just basically giving it a, a pink wash over the yellow. Do it quite quickly so that you still want to maintain the yellow background on the umbrella, but you just want to give it a, like a pink wash over it. Doing it quickly, not so that your colors don't mix, but more lay on top of each other. If I make sense. Don't spend too much time on the umbrella. Just give it, like I said, a pink wash. There we go. Just touch up the dress. Now the color that I've used for this is called anthro anthronoid pink. It's a pink color. Some fancy pink color. <laughs> but as you can see. Alicia is already standing out. Her dress is looking much better. It's a much more better flow in her pink and um, in the umbrellas. So we're going to let it dry now. We're going to get back to Gabrielle. And I'm going to do exactly the same that I've done with Alicia with Gabby. I'm just going to choose a color from your aquarelle box that's more or less in line with your um, I'm just trying to show you all the methods that you can use to use your aquarelle pencils as well in the tutorial I'm going to take my water my aquarelle pencil and I'm going to actually apply it just shade if you guys can see to shade the dress with more or less the same colors what I've already got on there. On your picture itself. Where the lines are. In the crease of the dress. Now you can do this with Alicia as well, but um, I'm just trying to get different ways across, or demonstrate the different ways to you. a perfect opportunity to fill in those little white areas that you've got open in the dress the 
that you're really scared to get into with your brush. Okay. So make sure your palette's nice and clean. And all you do is to clean your palette is you just take some a mister and you spray some water on it and you wipe it down with a um, with your kitchen towel or your. Um, I'm just going to apply some color onto it as well. Mist. Take one of my aqua brushes. Then I'm just going to go over, just making sure the dress is nice and highlighted. If you feel your dress is fine, you can leave it like it is. We'll see where the areas we have, it just blends in nicely. We have taken the pencil. Still going to get to a scarf area in the rest of the dress. And if you don't have Aquarelle pencils, you can just go do another layer with your little cakes that we've done the previous layer with. You can just do another layer with that. Um, it's not be it's not it's not a train smash if you don't have um aquarel pencils or the colors that you, you can just use your, the ones that you've used previously and just do another layer um you just want to make sure the colors are there on nicely Scarf. So we take a thinner aqua brush. Now you see I've got some color left. What you can also do is, I believe that if this, you can then, for your background, like I said, you're still gonna come back to your background. You can like slightly, uh, but like 5% of the color that you've got in the dress, you can apply somewhere in, in each corner perhaps, just to, it just flows. It gives the picture a better flow by just applying slightly a hint of this that color like you're in the corner here and then perhaps you can do it there at the top you're not letting the color stand out you just like i said it's like a hint of it um like that Okay, now we're going to just wait for Gabby's dress to dry, dabbing it dry. And we're going to go back to 